Well, the lessons are that we do, all of us, France and Britain and other European countries, we have a fifth column uh, within our country. It's mercifully small, but it's there. Um, and we need to be far more robust uh, in terms of how we deal uh, with radical preaching inside the mosques. And I think also uh, in presenting you know, the vision of who we are as a country, what we stand for, to provide people perhaps with better alternatives. So I'm personally very keen uh, to stop much of the funding that is coming to British mosques and into universities from Saudi Arabia. Uh, and externally, I mean, look, lots of people have been warning over the last six months that if you are prepared to accept, you send that message, countless millions of people from over the Mediterranean and through the Western Balkans, that when ISIS say they will use this to flood the continent with their jihadists, they probably mean it. Uh, and I'm just amazed today that uh, Monsieur Hollande uh, and indeed Mr Juncker have made it clear that they intend to continue with a migrant policy which says that anybody that sets foot on EU soil can stay. And I think that is really very, very dangerously complacent. You're actually saying, are you not, that you believe Britain's membership of the EU is endangering our national security? I do. I mean, when the Prime Minister launched his so-called renegotiation last week, uh, the big new theme was security. Uh, we're much more secure and safe inside the European Union. Indeed, uh, he used the word security 34 times in his speech. Uh, I think it's pretty clear uh, that with Mrs Merkel having sent out uh, the call for as many people to come as possible, uh, with no checks, no vetting being done on people's backgrounds, that within a very short time, Many of the people coming to Germany will have German passports, EU passports, and can then come to Britain. And I think to protect national security, getting back control of our borders is absolutely vital. And we cannot do that unless we vote to leave the European Union. Well, do we not have control of our borders? After all, we haven't had refugees uh, getting into Britain uh, as they have into continental Europe and indeed the French have cooperated in maintaining a border at the uh, coast of, with the English Channel. Well, I mean, our situation is better than France's, that's for certain. I mean, somebody can drive into Romania with a boot full of Kalashnikovs, cross every border, go straight to Paris without at any point in time yeah. going no, through but, but, a but the point, so our the point I'm is making is it is this isn't yeah. really a European Union issue as far as Britain's concerned because we already have control of those borders. No, it is a European Union issue once the people that come get European Union passports, which can happen in a very short period of time. We are not, we are not isolated from this in any way at all, let alone uh, the fact that we know that illegal immigration to Britain is still continuing through Calais and elsewhere. If we want to be safe, we want to be secure, we must have control of our borders. At the moment, anybody with an EU passport, and that's nearly half a billion people, can come to Britain uh, without any background checks being needed at all. Uh, Jeremy Corbyn has said tonight that he's not comfortable with the idea of a shoot-to-kill policy uh, Islamic terrorists uh, if they are identified in the UK. What's your view of that? Uh, my view is that uh, I wish that the Home Secretary and Prime Minister would be stronger, uh, but it is clear uh, that the leader of the opposition just does not take Islamic terrorism seriously and isn't prepared to lift a finger to do anything about it. We face a genuine crisis here. There are people in our midst that want to destroy our civilization. We have got to stand up and protect what is ours. Mr Corbyn won't do it. But the truth is uh, that Britain fortunately, has not had a major uh, terrorist inc incident for 10 years now. Uh, why do you think that is? Uh, well, I think we have probably better intelligence than the French have, um, and that's why when the government asked for more powers, uh, you know, provided there is some judicial oversight, um, I have to say uh, I support it. I wouldn't have done years ago, but I understand the need for it. So I do think uh, that we have you know, a better intelligence service I also think the fact uh, that we are able to stop people who come from outside the European Union is also a massive asset to us. It doesn't, doesn't insulate us completely from these great problems, but it does leave us in a better position than EU countries that are part of the Schengen area. And thank goodness we didn't join the Schengen area.